right there. Click in the background, which is my actual trading window here. Accept. Click, click, click. Accept. Alt-Tab. Let's click Accept right here on the Virtual Machines window. That's it. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Zeplor here and today I'm going to show you how to trade uh, items between yourself on just one PC using a virtual machine. Um, the supply is that you have two copies of the game, uh, so two accounts. Um, since the Chaff Games merger just happened like a week ago, you can only play the game through the Blacksmith Launcher, so you'll be using two instances of the Blacksmith Launcher to trade yourself. So, uh, this process takes about 45 minutes, I would say, maybe to an hour um, at tops. Uh, so I'm going to cut this down. Keep it short as possible. I'm not going to sit through the entire loading screen as you set up windows on a virtual machine, but I'm going to kind of guide you through it a little bit. Um, I have zero experience using a virtual machine whatsoever, and I was able to, you know, get this going and figure this out with a lot of, you know, looking up guides on YouTube, splicing guides together and shit, and getting some advice from the community. So without any further ado and any, any further delay, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get Windows 10, um, install Windows 10. Or create Windows 10 installation media, and I personally put it on my desktop. Um, you want this somewhere handy uh, so that when you have your virtual machine made, you can just boop boop put it right in and uh, boot up Windows and get going on that because you're gonna need that to run instance of the game in the virtual machine hardware. Okay, so the second thing you're gonna want to do is get VMware. I have tried VirtualBox and I have tried Hyper V. Those did not work for Dark and Darker. I had to use VMware. Um, so you can just Google VMware Workstation 17 player download uh, and it's website VMware.com it comes over here You click try Workstation 17 players for Windows hit download now and it should automatically download Yep, there it goes. Um, it says try like it's a trial or something. No, it's it's free permanently forever So as long as you're not as long as you're not using it commercially, it's it's free for anybody for any use um, And then once you have it downloaded open up VMware. I'm just gonna roughly guide you on how to make this okay? this out so you want to create a new virtual machine once you have it downloaded um, it's gonna ask you hey where's your Windows at okay well I saved mine to my desktop there it is right there windows.iso it's on my desktop Hit next next the da -da -da, mask index size 60 is fine next uh, next the only thing you, that might be arguable that you w might want to change is the um, the memory. I mean, you could do 4096 megabytes instead of 2048. It might make it run like just a smidge better, but you don't really have to. Hit finish. One thing you're going to want to do, uh, since you have Windows running on this, it's going to ask you to press any key right away. Do that. There it goes. If I don't press in, if you wait like five seconds, it'll start like going through BIOS and you lose your opportunity to press any key and you won't be able to install Windows on VMware, kind of like just free freeze up uh, since the virtual machine you have to reboot, like your whole PC will just freeze up so I've had bad luck with that so just be quick to hit a key right there. Let's go through the Windows installation, um, it's going to ask you for like an email or a Skype account like near the middle to the end of it, uh, just put in a random email and the password to that email and you're good to go um, and then yeah. All right, so now you should have VMware installed and you should have Windows 10 put on the virtual machine that you've set up. Um, next thing we're gonna need to do is download Blacksmith from Iron Mace's website. I'm pretty sure you can just Google Iron Mace. Iron Mace Dark and Darker maybe. There it goes. And click Launcher Download here. While you're in the on your browser on your virtual machine, click on this and download it to your virtual machine okay once you have this downloaded there's two more things you need to do before you can play in, three more things I'm sorry three more things you need to do before you can play and open the game you're gonna want to Google C++ redistributable download the Microsoft of like the first Microsoft link you want to click on latest supported and you're gonna download the one that's x64 because odds are you're using it on x64 odds are the Windows 10 virtual machine creates an x64 so click on this and download it to your virtual machine uh, the next thing you're gonna to want to download to your virtual machine before trying to boot up darker and darker is DirectX so just Google DirectX download again only click on the Windows link because it's Windows shit 
So, and then you just click download right here and it'll get DirectX onto your virtual machine. Again, you're not doing any of this on your desktop. I'm just showing it on my desktop uh, for ease because, you know, everything runs slow on a virtual machine. Um, and then the last thing you're going to want to do, I'm going to actually show you this. This could be the last step. Uh, so if you click on VMware Workstation Player. Let's see if this will work. So this is... <clears throat> you should already have Windows installed. It doesn't matter at this point if you do or not. I'm just trying to show you something. Once I have control, I'll show you. Okay, <clears throat> you should already have Windows installed. Um, I'm just this is a fresh VM, so I'm just showing you what you need to do. Um, this is implying you have a desktop here, and you know, like you want a desktop icon or whatever. So you go to Player, and you want to go to Manage, and install VMware tools. Go through this whole process. When you click install VMware tools, it's just gonna ask you uh, what kind of what kind you want. It's, you're gonna do the typical. I think it's the option. It's the top option, typical. It includes like most of everything. Um, and that's what you're gonna want to select. Okay. Now, if you have everything you need, you've gotten Windows onto your desktop or whatever on your main PC. You've gotten VMware. You've made a virtual machine on VMware. You've attached the Windows 10 ISO to it and got it running. And you've also gotten DirectX and C++ downloaded onto your VM. And you've also got Blacksmith downloaded onto your VMware. And you've also got the VMware tools set up on your VMware. Now, all this should be able to run darker and darker on your VMware virtual machine without anything else. Go ahead and click play here. This is the virtual machine here that I've made. It's gonna take probably a little bit longer than you're used to on your desktop, but it's fine. It's all we're using it is for trading. You know, if we do end up getting the gold bags per character, you know, and if you have two accounts, it's gonna be really nice to be able to ferry those gold bags and just mule them all onto your, like, your main character. So you have, you know, 15, 16 gold bags at the start of the wipe. That's fucking crazy. I mean, you have to level up the characters to 15 to get it, but still. All right, so it's loading up here. Hopefully if this helped you guys, uh, you can leave a like on the video. I'm looking, I, I looked everywhere trying to find a video on this. No videos ever. And I wouldn't have made this video if I didn't literally could not find any videos on this topic at all whatsoever. So if it helped you out, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. All right. So it's loading up. <laughs> Takes again, a bit longer than we're used to. A bit longer than I'm used to. And it's going to look like shit. It's not a virtual machine, but that is okay still functional. Okay. So, I want to do some trading. Enter the lobby. I can go into any of the trade channels once it loads. Oh, that's not like beautiful. Trade, weapons and armor, Zeplor. I'm waiting. Get on my main here. Trade. Find Zeplor and weapons and armor. Just myself on the virtual machine. Now I'm trading myself. Trade stuff over, no problem. It's ringing these two amulets, sure. Trade there. Click on the background, which is my actual trading window here. Accept. Click, click, click. Accept. Alt tab. Let's click accept. Right here on the virtual machines window. That's it. So you're able to trade yourself now between two blacksmith accounts on one PC using a virtual machine. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys. Uh, thanks for watching.